good welcome to martinez design in this tutorial we want to create uh, an egg-like shape form of construction that we accommodate in normal construction element in a group on facebook a challenge was thrown that something like that must be created so let me show you and this is the picture of that which was given on facebook that things like this need to be created so we've created this so I just say let me just give you uh, my follower the follower of this channel to to see something like this and learn how to create a challenging process of this so let's go so in this particular video this is how we do so we start by going to create so I have already gotten two reference line and how do I create the reference line this is how you do that is just using grid line so you click on grid and you create things in this manner and the in the horizontal so at this point what you need next is that you need to create your components and i'm using i'm not i'm using modern in place this time around and i want to use war to create this particular for this purpose because i wanted to have a component of building like to be able to hold on to the to the window and door so we are going to use the fourth to do this and we are going to go to south elevation to do that particular revolving so what do we do so click close click cancel click close and cancel so we are starting from scratch this time around so i'm going to use components model in place so i'm using wall you see click ok so you say massing so what you do you click on the fourth so it's asking you the question you know the first one they didn't ask question because i was on the you already automatically pick a level as a reference plane but this time around i want to use a half or half a particular reference plane so this is what i have so i'm using four instead of three so what i do here is that i start the project by using this uh, patch here so, so I'm using the patch here ellipse to create that for myself so I'm going to do something in this manner good so I'm using this particular method to do that so you press escape to go out so draw this the whole line and let them have a good communication pattern so this is what I created. So you drag it. So then you drag this one. So that's what you do. So you do the same thing here as well from the joints to the joints. Good. So the next thing you do is that you you are done with this so you put the axis in place then you put your axis like that particular axis so you click finish so the fourth is cutting so this is the head form of shape that we are talking about so you check it around whether they have the same almost look alike so you go back there and conclude the project in the gv so what you do now you want to create you want to create for it before we finalize the editing of this so the foil we are going to create is that you select create again and you say we are still in the mode of what's in the editing mode of that revolving so you click here and you say foil extrusion to so foil extrusion so you use the same reference level so here you click on this so by just like using let's use this to create it and see what we have first so we can can later be editing this if after you have done with it so you click finish so when you click that you go to your east elevation so you drag and you de drag so if that if it's not showing yellow which means that okay you accepted it so when you look at it from here you see the holes that are created in this space so that is the first fundamental rule that what you have done is what is in line so now you say edit 
and you come back to the start elevation to edit those things so i don't want this it's too long for me so i'm going to cut this into halfway so now i'm setting this in breaking this to two so now i'm setting it up in this way so i'm clicking finish so as i have done the finish you see the weight as so i'm editing the particular thing again and i'm dragging it down so from here now i'm bringing this to something close to the the that side good so i finish it so this is what i've created now you can copy this one and copy them around so that they give you the feel of reality like the way those ones are so you click here and say edit so you can delete this so as we have deleted them so you move around and you design something else that you want to do so like this one and do another long one good so you click finish can you see so you can have as many as possible like this one eh? you can have it like that so the next one i want to do is that i want to have a shape different shape entirely create for it and the same time you say or oh, copy this copy say copy i'm copying this escape drag up and then i say edit so here i want to have a funny shape right from here to here or from let's say from here like this so mirror it mirror this one so you, you do this So click this and you say finish. So you click outside, you see from the shape. Now you look at it from 3D and you see all the shape are all these things are there. So what you need to do that you want to have it around. So what you need to do is to select to so go to your plan view and go to site so you can see how those things are formed. Can you see them? So this is the way they were from. You select them, select them around, select this, select this, and the last one, select it. So here now you can see mirror. As you have this one here now, you can mirror them by mirror copy. So you mirror them. In this way click can you see so they create shape for you so it's not finished yet you can still do the same thing okay by rotating to the other side so it depends on your personal creativity so you do that again so you can here yeah, say mirror or let's use uh, if you use surfaces, it's not going to flow. So you choose these two, and you say the that one we're using was rotating. So now this is mirror. So you have this, and something is not working here. Because this guy is giving excuse, excuse is such that okay, something is there missing. So you delete this. You can. You later claim it and say mirror again. Good, so it's it gives excuses again to so finish it. it say something, say delete the elements. So it's not working for that aspect. So maybe you can do something different. Now, when you look at it from 3D, you still got those things in place. Now, I want to create the normal feel of work. So edit in place so as we say go to south elevation 
then say edit report so what i'm going to do is that i want to check whether so when you look at this same this and let it give you what you need to have here so close this and whether it will work for you it's not working because of the partial things that we use come to see good so drag this backward i think it's stable like that so do the same thing here too it up so that is done let the revolve drag this and straight this up so follow the process do not be in rush so the sign is all about what try and error but the matter doesn't it does not matter whether i've done it before that is i'm reciting an initiative that i'm come as i'm still doing this in this way so that is why I always encourage you always work and develop yourself around the line. So I think that's set to successfully finish and see whether it will fit. Yeah, everything is working. So when you look at it from this 3D, you see the spaces have been created, the void has been assigned. So now what you do next is that we want to do some crazy thing in this level. So this one we want to create now. It's not offering anything to do with this void. We have already created this void. We have already created the whole thing. So we want to create a glass inside in this. So click finish. So select this one and say copy. Go to your level one. So I say copy, select it again because everything has been selected with it. Copy. Copy. And say one. Press enter. So select that and say edit in place. So as we edit in place, go to 3D. And the 3D remove everything that have to do with void. So here we have nothing to do with the void in this 3D, in this particular. So let all this thing close itself. So we'll look around. I don't think there's anything in it. So everything is gone. Of voice are uh, what are gone. So as you have them all gone, you select this again. And now you say edit default. So let's go back to the south elevation and edit that default thing completely. So what we do, you can now be dragging this inside the bit, drag it. So you do the same thing here by dragging it up a bit. So let them be what the lights. Can you see? So at the lights now, you click here, and you see they should change the category, the the material for you. So the material is going to use something like this duplicate, and I will call it glass. So glass. So you say the name. I want to rename it, say a name, say class. Good. So, where is it? Classes. So, here you rename it to your own particular figure or particular uh, appearance. So, now you come here and select any type of class that you know that, okay is okay for you so let's just use this blue reflective for now so you click okay okay and okay so you click finish can you see so when you click finish like that go to the 3d and you see the blue reflective is there and the shape is formed so that is how you work on this particular project so now you can create your here and say create flow 
just create floor for representation so you do that and you say finish so at this level you join in slider so things are here so we are done with this one and this project so you assign material to this particular one as well if you want to depends on you and your choice so we have created the void in this place and to have a semblance of this image that you are seeing here so this is the same thing in replicate of this one so that is how you do and that is how you create the beautiful career so see you in the next tutorial thanks